Why, hello there everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of Toy Chest. I brought the toy chest over here onto the green mat screen thing, whatever we have, and we're Why going is there to... gold spray paint on it? I don't know, I think I was testing it when I was painting the king chair. Why would you paint this of everything you could test? I don't know. Let's get into the toy chest to see what it has for us today! Oh, what's in it? Oh! Oh! You perfectly fit in. Oh, crap. The UFO Destroyer, um, and it doesn't seem like it has any brand. It really wait, flies. Wait, wait, oh. DBToys.com. DB Toys. D oh, there's honey on it. What in the world? From what I get out of it, and the reason I picked it up is because you get a gun that shoots a bullet that hits this flying thing. So it really flies. We're gonna figure out what exactly it is and if it's any fun to use and if it's worth it. I think this thing was like. $30 or something like that. It wasn't even secured in the box. It wasn't even really secured. So we got, it looks like so far we have like a release mechanism and a trigger. There you have it right there. The UFO destroyer. Now I wonder if there's actually a possibility that you can use this to destroy real UFOs because if there's anything I know it's that UFOs are very real. And you know, if you have a Nerf gun, you should definitely shoot at it. Oh! Please note, to ensure UFO does not break easily, please use outdoor or in large. Okay, so let's see here. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand. It, it, I guess that those send charges. When it, when it like, it, it sends a charge. Okay, let's get batteries in this piece of oh, oh. Every time I like connect the two things, it just turns on. Oh, just let it go, Jordan. Let it fly. No. Let it fly, Jordan. I don't want to. Oh, oh, it's Look going. At... Oh my Jordan. goodness. Oh. oh, no, no, no. I caught it. Like it's supposed to charge like that. Like just leaving it there, but it's not charging. Yeah, it's it's fully charged. It's not fully charged. Jordan. Aaron, what are you doing? Aaron. Aaron. I think he was trying to get out of here without getting caught on camera. This is the worst. This is the most stressful. It's ready to fly, Jordan. No, it's not. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to yes, do it what is. it did earlier. It flew on its own. You didn't even have to launch it. I don't even know what that does. What? What is? It? What am I doing wrong here, Spencer? A lot. Oh, no, do it, Jordan. No. Do it. You're ruining it. You're breaking it. Uh, you have to have it going before you can launch it, Jordan. No, it, it doesn't. You shouldn't have to do that. It doesn't make sense. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Uh, oh, Jordan. Oh, you hit it. I got it off the you bounce. You hit it. Oh. What in the world? This piece of garbage. Stop. No, 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 no. Wow, fantastic. This is atrocious. Let me try. I Spencer, wanna... you cannot try it because it does not function. You've done it twice now and succeeded both Spencer. times. Spencer, well, I see what you're talking about, Jordan. I see, I yeah, you understand now? You understand? It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I got it in it. Oh, you jammed it. You lodged the thing. Oh, that's, that's great. That's, that's great. Good. You clip that down, and you go to this side, and you clip that down like that, see? Is it charging? How do you tell? <gasps> yes, it is! Spencer, how'd you get that? So, the problem is, there's this little loop on either side, and this part wasn't bent out. It's supposed to clip well, in on I both sides. that, but I didn't know. Okay, well, there we go. I guess we'll test it again in 20 minutes. Let's let it charge. Okay, um, since Sp Spencer figured out the new charging method that actually works, um, we're going to try it out now and see if this thing actually, you know, does good. Fire right, Jordan. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's working. Oh, no, I'm not ammo. No, I need to reload. Reload. Oh, and it's oh. battery. Oh, oh my goodness. So we can do it again. Did you see that? That was awesome. That actually worked pretty darn well. I know, right? Here it is. Oh. Stable, stable. There we go. There. Whoa! You hit it! Yeah! yeah there nice, it is! Right nice there. job! Jordan. Yeah! 
<laughs> I think I jammed the trigger too. I did. Did you break it? Ladies and gentlemen, I give that toy quite the review because while we did uh, my fault operate it incorrectly to begin with. It was difficult to operate. It was though. difficult and it was bent, so it, you know, wasn't quite my fault. Um, had a little bit, you know, it was really simple, so it was cool. And then once we finally got it going, it worked out pretty well. So if you can get over all those hurdles and get to the part where it actually flies cool and you can shoot at it, it worked pretty well. So I'm gonna give that three toy chests out of five. And since James isn't here, it got broken because I broke it. I can't but it, believe you broke that. because you were trying to enjoy it. I was, I was trying to enjoy it. I'd give it two out of five. I would not recommend someone to buy this. Yeah, I guess so. I'd agree with you there. Let's drop it down to two out of five. Oh, oh, wait, I got it out. There we go. Oh. And now it's back. Oh my goodness, it broke already. That was after normal use. Piece of garbage. See you next time on Toy Chest.